Yo, dudes, the Empire's pretty chill. Maybe you could, like, join it. I got dressed for this. Uh, half dress. Ah, put some pants on, man. Hey, so, uh, how's my nose look? Oh! Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Josh with Movies Please. Going to try out a new segment today called Today's Topic Is. Usually I review movies, but uh, I, I want to try talking a little bit about the news. Um, particularly stories that interest me. It's not going to be, like, some all-encompassing thing where I talk about a, a wide variety of topics. More like... Just uh, certain headlines that caught my attention and I wanted to talk about. So today, I'm, you know, I work a full-time job as well, and today during my lunch break, I'm reading the headlines, and one comes across my my feed, um, my on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, uh, but it says that Star Wars Detours is coming to Disney Plus. Well, I get really excited. You know, I see this on Twitter. My my lunch break, you know, I had is right at the end of it, and so I. Uh, clock back in and everything. After work, I, I go back on online and I'm looking. I expect this thing to be all over the internet, right? Uh, because of Star Wars. And I go to all my favorite sites and I don't see a single headline. And I think, well, you know, maybe maybe it's um, maybe the major sites just haven't picked it up yet, you know. So I go back to Twitter and I read the article. And I noticed that the uh, the site that the the source of the story is kind of um you know I don't know a whole lot about them you know maybe maybe they may be a great site full of great info but uh, I didn't really know a whole lot about that source so I decided to do a little bit more digging um, I I check a couple of other sources I look around Twitter you know see what other people are saying on Twitter. And one of the writers, I believe, uh, of the of the show Star Wars Detours, he posts that apparently take it with a grain of salt. You know, take the news with a grain of salt. It it, it looks like it probably is not true. So right from the get go, I mean, here I, I was really excited. I'm like, yes, today I'm going to start my this new uh, segment on my channel. I'm going to start it with a topic that I'm really excited about. And it turns out the topic isn't even true, right? Uh, figures. So instead, today I want to talk about should Disney put Star Wars Detours on on Disney Plus. For those who don't know, Star Wars Detours was born in a in a very odd era of Lucasfilm. Disney had not bought Star Wars yet. They were right on the cusp of it. Probably, probably when Detours was announced, Disney was just about to sign those papers. But in this era of Lucasfilm, you had Star Wars Clone Wars. And that was kind of the only serious Star Wars show coming out, uh, or project period. Other than the, I'm not talking about like the video games or anything like that, or books or what have you. I'm talking about visual media, uh, like you know, movies, TV. Uh, the prequels they were, they were in the rearview mirror. You know, they were probably about uh, not quite a decade. It hadn't been quite a decade since Revenge of the Sith had come out. And everything that was being released in visual media was like a parody. You had the uh, Robot Chicken parodies. You had the uh, Family Guy parodies. And so word was when Disney bought Lucasfilm, word was that they were tired of that for a couple of reasons. Number one, a lot of the jokes were just done. It was they were, A lot of the jokes, the humor that was being mined was uh, beating a dead horse. Okay, let's joke about Luke, uh, Darth Vader being Luke's father. Darth Vader being uh, Leia's father. Um, jokes about Jar Jar Binks. I mean, a lot of them had run their course. So when Disney bought Lucasfilm, they put a pause, I'll just say, on Star Wars Detours. I mean, they, that's putting Jenner. They, they, they canceled it, more or less. Or what, what have you? I mean, I, I, can, you, can you cancel a TV show that hasn't aired yet? I, I guess so. But the, all these episodes that had already been made were not going to air anymore. The show had quite a cast. I mean, you had a lot of the like Anthony Daniels was returning to do uh, th was returning to do C three PO, Billy D Williams coming back as um as uh uh, uh oh my goodness <laughs> oh what is that character's name Lando Cal Calrissian, um and then you had people like Seth Green involved. You had Seth MacFarlane who was voicing the Emperor. Uh, so a lot of talent behind the scenes. The guy who wrote Barnyard and, and Nickelodeon's Back at the Barnyard, uh, is that Back back at the Barnyard, Back to the barn? I, I, that, who knows, okay, <laughs> one of those. Where he did a lot of work on Star Wars Detours. This was basically going to be Lucasfilm's kind of like the Robot Chicken-esque type show. 
Uh, it was going to be, uh, each episode was going to take a different part of the Star Wars universe and make fun of it. Here's the thing. I have actually seen an episode. I, I have no clue what the uh, like, dislike bar for the show's trailer is currently, but when it was released, it was pretty low. But an episode leaked last year, and yeah, I watched it. <laughs> I mean, and you would have too. A lot of you would have too if you had had the opportunity. If you had, some of you, I'm sure, probably did see that episode. It was okay. Uh, for me, I kept wondering, who is this for? And, and the show's humor felt like it was geared toward kids in a way maybe kid appropriate would be a, a, an okay way to put it but then the humor the jokes a lot of the references were more for adults and you can say okay well so it's a show for kids that the adults in the room can enjoy well not so much i mean i don't know if kids the episode i saw was two flies trying to rob the diner from attack of the clones and the humor is very fast. It's a very fast-paced show. Like, I'm talking about dialogue and jokes a mile a minute. And, yeah, I mean, that might keep kids' attention. Um, but I don't know how much, uh, how much they're going to really soak in and enjoy due to, again, they're referencing stuff that... Uh, how many kids in 2020 have seen Attack of the Clones? I don't think this would be a show for teenagers, even though, again, it tries to be kind of robot chicken-esque. I don't see it being a show that a lot of teenagers would watch. So the question is, should Disney Plus release this show? And my verdict is absolutely. Not because it's going to be some great, big, triumphant masterpiece, but a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, a lot of people worked on this show, and I feel like it, it'd be good to to air the show just out of respect for all that hard work. Another reason, Disney is obviously trying to find Star Wars content for Disney+. Plus. I mean, you have droids coming, you have uh, the Ewoks TV show coming. You even have part of the Star Wars holiday special on the way. So Disney is obviously trying to find Star Wars related content. They're, they're searching through their uh, long lost archives to try to find stuff. If... if <sighs> Without getting too mean, if the Ewoks TV show is good enough to put on Disney+, Plus, then just put Star Wars Detours on there too. And then the third reason, and this is one that favors Disney's bottom line, people are going to make, if, if Disney was at one point concerned that people were making fun of Star Wars too much, look, the internet exists. People, it can be the most serious Star Wars project I'm talking about just uh, the most dramatic, five-star, exceptional Star Wars film you can imagine. And there are going to be memes about it. Okay, there's going to be humor. People will find humor uh, in anything on the internet. So it would work in Disney's favor to release this show that is poking fun. Okay, so people want to poke fun at Star Wars? Well, here, let's, here's a show that pokes more fun at Star Wars. All the jokes might not be first class, but it, it's something. And again, and going back to the first point, it's something that a lot of people worked on. And I think it'd be good, if nothing else, it, it's, it's a page out of Star Wars history. Let's see it. Yeah, it may not be, it may not be five star ex exceptional. Uh, it, we may not be saying, wow, that's the best Star Wars TV show to come out since, you know, Clone Wars or whatever. That's okay. We know, probably the key demographic for this show knows uh, a little bit of the history. We understand that, okay, the, this show is, um, it wasn't released. You know, it, it was put on hold for a reason. But let's watch it just to see what this chapter of Star Wars history was like. Now, I will add that um, one thing that hit me, because I rewatched the trailer for the show, and, and it hit me. The show, obviously, when it was made, it, the show doesn't reference anything from the Disney era of Star Wars. Now, rumor has it, and this is an even bigger rumor than uh, the rumor that the show's coming to Disney+. Plus. Rumor has it that Disney is actually, or Lucasfilm has actually made new content, new episodes that feature uh, jokes regarding the Disney era of Star Wars. You know, uh, Force Awakens, that trilogy. Um, uh, I guess, I can't... I really can't see how they can 
going back to what I said about a dramatic Star Wars film, I don't see how they can get jokes out of a, of a, a Rogue One, but I'm sure there's something there. Um, maybe the way Darth Vader uh, treats that that bad guy from that movie. That, uh, you could probably do some funny jokes with that. But uh, but anyway, so yeah, I personally, if I had a vote, and I know this is just my two cents, it's not really even worth that, but I say release Star Wars Detours on Disney+. Plus. If there are 50-some episodes of this show, I just think all that hard work, put it, in the, it, it, it maybe it deserves an audience. My humble opinion. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think, would you be interested in watching Star Wars Detours? Do you think Disney Plus should air it? Um, I think probably last year that leaked episode, that, you know, the episode that leaked, I, I think that what was going on was a little bit what happened with Deadpool. Remember when Deadpool, that clip um, leaked online and it led to dead, like an actual Deadpool movie being made? I don't think it was an accident that um, a random episode of Star Wars Detours leaked online last year. I don't think that was an, uh, an accident. I think it was an intentional. I think it was an experiment to see the reaction from the public. We'll find out.